down now that I've got this motor out of the lathe, my plans are to pull it apart completely. Um, first starting off with this pulley here on the front. Probably be able to pull that off with just a standard pulley. Might be a bit bound up on the shaft. Then to pull the out of the ends off it. And then I'll be able to inspect the armature, the bearings, find out whether they're a sleeve or a ball bearing. And then I'll be able to clean it all up and reassemble it and then test it. So. Should be a good project. So I've got the pulley off now, that came off quite easy with this standard three-legged puller. I had to use a, an extension to reach all the way in because the, the pulley's quite thick. But other than that, it wasn't seized on at all and the shaft looks like it's in pretty good condition. So I've got the four bolts out either end and I've just had a bit of a look at this these screws here what they're attached to and it looks like it's actually attached to the end of a bearing assembly so I'm not sure if that's actually a transition fit or a, a um, press fit onto the shaft so I'm going to take those four screws out on both ends and hopefully that will allow the ends to be stood off and then I'll be able to get inside and have a look at the armature.
So it turns out this motor does actually have ball bearing ends. Um, we've got the back end plate off now. You can see in here we've got a ball bearing. I was right about this, these four screws actually holding the bearing assembly. But it looks like it probably was a transition fit. I'm not, I haven't played with that bearing surface, the inner um, part of the bearing on the shaft. So I'm not sure what kind of fit that is. But basically, this bearing um, out of compartment here is split to the um, end cap, and that allows you to actually fit a new bearing and um, or service it while holding the shaft. Um, well, the armature central to the outside stator. So, the next process probably will be to um, disassemble or we'll pull the armature out of the out of the stator. I think I'll be able to just use this um, rubber hammer here and carefully slide this out because I I do believe the bearing is a transition fit to this shaft. So that means I'll be able to fairly easily slide the armature out. Pulled the armature out now, and as you can see on the other end, we have the another bearing assembly and another bearing cup that was held in by then three screws. So I think this is a pretty good idea for a motor to be assembled, actually, because it allows you to pull apart the armature without actually disturbing the bearings. You can service the complete inside, clean it, blow all the dust out, um, slide it back in, and you haven't actually had to disturb any of the bearings as such as like um, hammering them off so they pretty much remain undamaged and you can have complete access to your motor so, what a smart way of building a motor really So now that we've got the motor completely disassembled, uh, we're going to talk about how this motor actually works. It's just a um, three phase motor, and it's what they call a squirrel cage motor. Basically you have your three phase input, and that creates a rotating magnetic field um, in the stator, and that causes the armature to rotate. So in here we have what they call Squirrel, uh, squirrel cage is basically two large copper bars that run completely around in a ring on both sides and it's joined up by um, bars in here and that um, rotating magnetic field causes this rotor to, to spin so I'm um, actually a pretty simple design and as long as the motor doesn't get hot and the uh, stator doesn't burn out, all the bearings uh, don't wear out and collapse. The motor basically will last a very long time. So I've got no worries about this motor actually working again. 
I'll give the um, housing a clean up, get all the dust out. I'll probably then really re-grease, pack the bearings. Um, I might actually give the in, inside of the motor a repaint. Might have to use some um, heat resisting paint for the inside of the motor. I'll assemble it all back together and then we'll be able to pretty paint the outside and that part of the restoration will be done but I'm pretty excited to get it going again. Um, so if you'd like to follow along stay um, tuned and please subscribe like and comment um, it's always interesting to see everyone's feedback and suggestions so I hope you enjoy the series